Hey there, and welcome back to another session with me, Ginny. Here are two common mistakes you need to catch yourself doing when you're working on elongation of your spine. Number one, when you inhale and elongate your spine, your ribs should not stick forward. And when you do that, it takes your back in an arch. Elongation of the spine starts from reaching up reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling in opposition to your sacrum reaching down. Mistake number two, when we inhale, we do this. We lift the head up. So if you can see my tube top, think of that as your shoulder girdle because the shoulder girdle is your rib cage, your collarbone, your shoulder blades, and your arm. So when you lift up, this whole thing comes up. Not the ribs coming out, not the head coming out. It's the whole torso coming up. Of course, it comes from the waistline up, but not the ribs. So let's practice this. Stand on your feet, heels, little toe, big toe. Make sure that your hips are right underneath your rib cage. So if you are in this position, correct yourself and bring your hips under your ribs. As you inhale and expand your ribs, reach the crown of the head up in opposition to your sacrum reaching down. If you do it well, you feel yourself grounding even further into the floor as your spine gets longer. For today's class, we're going to apply that and apply this concept in all the exercises. Plus, I'm adding on two new exercises today. So once you've watched this video, of course, if you like it, give me a thumb. It helps me create more videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to share this video around with your friends and family. Now that you understand this concept, we're going to apply this for today's theme, which is elongation of the spine. So classes. Because when you inhale, you elongate your spine, it decompresses your spine. Uh, you have space between your joints, you strengthen the spine that way. Because there are lots of little muscles attached on your spine that elongate when you breathe in. That's why we inhale first. We elongate the spine, we reach the sacrum to the feet, we reach the crown of the head. Lay down on the back. Arms by the side. Think of your sacrum reaching towards your heels as the crown of the head reaches back in opposition to each other. We are going to continue to build the neck strength, upper ab strength, to prepare ourselves for the footwork. So, magic circle at the back of the head. Hands inside. This time, we're going to have the knees in a tabletop. So, we think sacrum is reaching away from the crown of the head. Inhale. Expand the ribs. Exhale. Contract the abs. Inhale. Make the spine go long. Deep breath in. Feel free to keep your feet down if you're still working on that connection. Three more counts. Last two. Last round. Inhale. And then lower the feet down. Take the magic circle away and rest down. So remember, the crown of the head is reaching away from the sacrum. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. On the next breath, we're going to come up in the 100th position. 
We do as many as we can with the leg level down, and when this takes the back in an arch, it's time to raise the legs. Deep breath in through your nose. Expand the blades in all directions. Rib cage, exhale. And now up. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, knees bend, head down. We're going to grab the magic circle. We continue with the upper abs. We just add on the elongation of the spine. So our goal is for the sacrum to reach in opposition to the crown of the head. As we build the upper abs, we continue to remember that the ribs stay in and it's perfect because we are working on elongating, elongating the spine without sticking the ribs out, right? That's not elongation. You always want to feel your sacrum reaching away from your crown of the head. Deep breath into the nose, press slightly on the magic circle, chin to throat, and then flex forward, ribs in. Now the crown of the head is reaching towards the feet. As you roll your sacrum down, you keep the ribs in, you exhale, head down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Up goes in. Stay curl. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Crown of the head reaches towards the feet. Inhale. Roll down the hips, stay with the ribs. Exhale. Last two. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Last round. <sighs> Ground of the head towards the feet, ribs stay in, roll back. And head down. All right, single leg circle. We're going to take a small stretch for the hamstring and the lumbar spine because the goal is elongation of the spine. If, the, if this, will help little, uh, this will help your lower back to open if you have a little bit of stiffness. So you inhale. You exhale. You pulse your leg three times towards your face. In. Two. In, last round, and then take the magic circle on the side. This time we're going to let the hip cross over, breathe in, exhale, two, one, reverse. Deep breath in, three, two, and last one. And then you bend your knees really deep. If there's any tension in the hip flexor, it will go down. Slide the right leg down, take your left knee in, grab your magic circle, stretch your hamstring and lumbar spine. Deep breath in, and we pulse. Last round. Take the magic circle on the side. Point softly. Let the left hip come up. Breathe in. Three. Two. Last round. 
and knees towards your chest. Curl in and exhale up to sitting for rolling like a ball. So you're going to stay curl, crown of the head, which is away from the sacrum. So you're on your sacrum, a little bit on your sit bones. So you're on sit bones, a little bit on your sacrum. You're going to open your elbows wide and keep your ribs in so that's your upper body flexion. Open your elbows really wide and we're going to go for five. Two more. Last round. Plant the feet. Place your hands next to your pelvis. Go back and lay down on the back. Stomach series. Crown of the head reaching away from the sacrum. Deep flexion. Ribs staying in to build that strength for the footwork. Right hand, right hand by your right ankle, left hand by your knee. Deep inhale, bunch, both feet are pointed. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last set. Finish on the left side, both knees in, head goes down. Exhale, come back up. Sacrum reaches away from the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale. Two more counts. Last round. And rest. Turn the head to the right. Turn the head to the left. Scissors. Sacrum needs to stay down on the mat, so the abs have to work. Right, uh, left leg up, right leg away. Deep breath in, expand the ribs. Sacrum is reaching down, away from the crown of the head, and then you pulse. Switch, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, last round, exhale, both legs up. I'm going to grab my magic circle to give me a little bit of boost for my neck. All right, legs up, sacrum stays down, inhale, exhale. Last round. Sacrum stays down. Knees bent. Magic circle on the side for elbow to knee that we added last week. Hands at the back of the head. Deep breath in. The ribs expand. Exhale. The upper abs softens in. The sacrum stays down. Right leg goes straight out. Left knee stays bent. Exhale, inhale, last round, knees in, come up to sitting, exhale, open, stretch the legs, arms up towards the ceiling, crown of the head reaches up, sacrum reaches down in opposition to each other, you grow, you lift, you this part, like I taught you, so hopefully you're wearing a tube top if you're a woman, and if you're a man, your whole torso will come up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, bend at your waistline, at your rib cage. Last round. 
inhale and arms down bend the knees open leg rocker grab your ankles now it is a little bit like rolling like a ball so you're not upright it is one of the uh, misconception we have about open leg rocker rolling like a ball stomach massage we think that spine is straight but ideally the, when you're exercising your spine is never really straight it's like a slight curl that's what we call a capital C so when you take your legs up and stretch right Ooh, I'm falling in my sacrum but again I'm going to apply my whole torso tube top coming up rising up instead of letting my rib cage come up like that Woo, i can't even do that anymore so i'm just going to do that so when you lift your legs up you're trying not to stick your ribs out and arch your back and not take your neck forward so what you're going is elongation of your spine if it helps gaze down if it helps gaze forward you're, you're slowly, you're a little bit like on your sacrum and your ribs are in, your abs is the one holding your, the shape of your spine. Inhale, roll back. Exhale. Two more counts. Last round, we finish in teaser position and we lay down on the back. Corkscrew. Option one, if you have a dowel on your mat, you grab this there, you grab them here. If you are on your Cadillac, you grab your uh, pole, same thing on your tower. But if you are using your mat, you grab your mat and you push down. And if your shoulders are quite open and you're strong already, it's full palms, shoulders down. Do not stick the ribs out. Bring the ribs in. As you inhale, crown of the head reaching away from the sacrum. Take the legs up and squeeze the abs. Exhale. We circle towards the right. Inhale. And then we go up. We exhale. Ribs in, abs in, sacrum down. To the left. Exhale, to the right, ribs in, abs in, sacrum touch the mat, towards the left, inhale, exhale, last round, each side, last set, each side. and left breathe expand the ribs exhale curl the ribs in squeeze the abs sacrum down grab the back of the legs we're gonna open leg rocker up to sitting inhale expand the ribs exhale flex the feet arms by the side crown of the head reaches up in opposition to the sacrum Ribs stays in. Last round. And then come back up. Arms by the side. Squeeze the legs together. Swing them around, lay down on your tummy. Swan and swan dive. Forehead on the mat. Sacrum reaches away from the crown of the head. Hands on the mat. As you inhale, you push into your hands. You lift your pubic bone down. You lengthen your waistline up. And then you exhale. 
you inhale exhale last one getting ready ready eyes up and then exhale last round and stretch back come back single leg kick double leg kick keep your sacrum down meaning your pubic bone is down crown of the head reaching up double kick switch exhale inhale double two exhale double two last round exhale and then both legs down arm stretch forward right ear on the mat place your hands on your back pubic bone is down crown of the head reaches away from the legs we inhale three kicks we inhale we stay low because we're going long wrapping the shoulders on the back micro bend the elbows we go long exhale Deep breath in. Last round. And then push up, lay down on your back. Today we're gonna do shoulder bridge. So, your feet are flat, knees are hip distance apart, arms flat shoulders flat on the mat so on your inhale so you've now you know we've done so many times pelvic tilt so this is why we started first to learn these little fundamental movements so when you get to this moment in time in your practice you understand what that means okay so your sacrum is down when you inhale your sacrum comes up your glute muscle comes up, your lower back comes up. You are on your arms, hands, shoulders, shoulder blades. When you exhale, you flatten your shoulder blades down, but you're not closing your shoulders. You stay at the back, your ribs melt down, your lower back melts down, your back on your sacrum. Eyes up at the ceiling if that helps. Breathe in. and exhale shoulder blades on the mat and exhale sacrum down two more counts you feel your the back of the shoulders touching the mat and then the tip of the shoulder blades come up but you are in your center you're not off and then when you roll down, the back of the shoulder stay and you don't roll your shoulder and close your chest. You melt your sternum, your ribs, your lower back, your sacrum. Down. Okay. Turn on the side for side leg kick. Head up. Right arm in front. Ribs in the body. Inhale. Exhale. If you're ready to start bringing your hands at the back, do so. But remember that placing your hands at the back does not stick your ribs out. Last round. And back, back, close your leg on top. Reverse, flex up, point down. Last round. Exhale, lower yourself on your bicep, pick your legs, bring them in line, weave your hips, your head, your shoulders, your ribs in one line. Pick the legs up. You're still long from crown to the sacrum. Last round. Then you lift your legs, you turn on your belly. You grasshopper, you're not going high. 
Your sacrum is reaching away from the crown of the head, your abs in, your ribs in. You exhale. You breathe in. You exhale. Change direction. Legs are stuck. Left hand in front. Pick the left leg. Kick forward. Back. You want two hands at the back of the head. Wave stays in. Last round. Exhale. Leg on top of the other. Reverse. Flex up. Point down. Last round. And down. You lay down on your bicep. Stay strong. This built up your hip strength. So keep your left, your left hand down. Lift. Lower. Rib stays in. Waistline is lifting the legs up. Last round. And exhale. Okay. Turn on your back. So after teaser, I'm going to do can-can today. Okay. So once we do, we do two teasers, one variation, and then we move on to can-can. So remember the ribs stays inside the body. The back of the ribs expand. The crown of the head reaches back. The heels reaches forward. So every week you add a new little concept, but you don't forget the one you've done previously. You just add it on top of it. Okay, deep breath in. Chin to your throat. Lift your blades. Up. Exhale. Sacrum is down. Spine down. Head down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Now here comes the variation. We're going to keep the legs up. We're going to roll the lumbar spine where we can still be in control and come back up. Deep breath in. Good. Eyes at the toes. Exhale. Last round. And everything goes down. Oof. Okay, can, can. Come up to sitting. Place your elbows down. And raise your chest up, not your ribs. You're not in an arch. You're in an ab strength. You're on your tiptoe. So in one swift movement, the same way you do single leg circle where your hip come up, like your corkscrew as well, you're not shearing your legs, you're stacking. Knees on knees, ankles on ankles, toes on toes. Exhale. Three. And then you're going to raise both legs, and point them to the wall. You're going to exhale. Tap your toe. You go left side this time. One. Two. Three. You extend your legs towards the left side. You come back center, tap your toe to the right, to the left, to the right. Come back, tap your toes. You start left, left, right, left. Extend your legs. Come back center to the right. One, two, three. Extend, exhale. And exhale. All right. Give yourself a little break. You're learning. So you may lose your alignment. But just know that your chest is up. Your abs is in. It's not your ribs sticking out. Because you're on your forearms and you're strong in your abs. Turn on your belly for swimming. Press on your forehead. Breathe in. Expand your rib cage, lift your left arm, right arm, left leg, and then switch. 
crown of the head reaches away from the sacrum. Ribs in. Last round. Exhale. Push back. Come to seated position for seal and push-ups. I'm going to turn this way so I can get up. Hands inside the legs, grab the heels. You are almost like sitting on your sacrum. Pick your feet up, clap your legs, roll back, come back. Breathe, clap. Oops, my head touched. So still the concept of keeping the rib cage in. Last round. Ready to cross. And up. Turn for push-ups. Ground your feet, little toe, build toe, heels in a V. Hips over the heels, ribs over the head. Crown of the head reaches up away from your sacrum. Deep breath in. Nod the chin in, take your ribs in, squeeze your abs, hands down, walk, walk. Hands under your shoulders, squeeze your heels and hold, and lower. Two more. Last round, pike up, heels down, soft knees, sacrum over the heels. All right, I hope that your mat is getting very, very exciting now that you're adding on new exercises. So it takes time to build all this, take one concept, work with it for a while. Notice what all your things you do, correct them, and then keep moving. The point is keep moving. Stay consistent, keep practicing. This is how you transform your body. Thank you so much for being here today, and I'll catch you next time.